Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, April 6, 2022, and this is Cafe Devo coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw Streets right here in beautiful downtown Durand, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out as I usually do with my pal Bugsy, <laughs> and I hope your Wednesday is going well. As we continue with our Lenten series of devotions into the wilderness, we read this morning from the book of Mark, chapter 12, verses 41 through 44. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins, worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. Hmm. Let's focus today on hope the hope we have in Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us hope that is seen is no hope at all. But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently, Romans 8, 24 and 25. To hope in Romans 12, 12, and to let the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. The hope that we have in Jesus will sustain and empower us even if we find ourselves in the wilderness. You have probably heard the adage, time heals all wounds. With all due respect to Greek poet Menander and Geoffrey Chaucer, both of whom included a version of that phrase in their poetry, I'm closer to agreeing with Rose Kennedy, who wrote, it has been said that time heals all wounds. I do not agree. The wounds remain, time, the mind, protecting its sanity, covers them with some scar tissue, and the pain lessens, but it is never gone. Time does not, in fact, heal all wounds, but hope can. The hope that is found in Jesus Christ can heal the damage done by trauma, the destruction of sin, or even the loss of a loved one. This is by no means meant to lessen the impact of the terrible things that come into our lives. Memory is indelible. Scars remain and tragedy is awful. However, hope in Jesus can heal enough, at least enough, to carry us forward in this life, even through the wilderness. So let's meditate on this thought today. Jesus is my hope. And for our daily Lenten fast, let's fast hopelessness. Always remember, no situation this side of heaven, no matter how good or how bad, is permanent. Father, we come to you this day and we're grateful for a Wednesday that you've blessed us with. We ask, Lord, that you would guide our steps this day, guard our thoughts, watch over the things that we say and that we do, so that we can have a consistent witness and share the gospel. Bless us with the privilege of serving others to bring you glory. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Wednesday edition of Cafe Devo. Before I go, I want to remind all of you that First Congregational Church goes live tonight right here on Facebook or over on Zoom if you prefer that method. Our Wednesday night live stream is continuing tonight at 7 p.m. We invite you to come join us as we're taking a look at the book Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. It's not the Bible, but it has a lot of the Bible in it. 
and a lot of good theological thoughts that we're considering and discussing with one another. We invite you to come uh, take part in it. It's a little conversation, a little prayer, a little time together. It starts at 7 p.m., and you are most welcome to come join us. Until then, this is Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.